Ah, check it out. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have winds coming in out of the eastern direction and taking a look at our calendar from years past, uh, well, it's pretty much a little bit of the same. I was fishing an area that I don't care to go back to today because of the low tides. So we're going to head over towards not East Bay Galveston. Well, y'all will just see that when we get out of here, but we gotta hurry up. Well, it's new for me. I've never fished here. I believe this place is called Anawak. My dad's gonna have to let y'all know. But uh, we forgot the dock line, so I'm on push-pull duty, and I have to help launch this boat. In the summertime, there's about a 12-foot gator that lands right over here. Oh, jeez. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he said there's a 12-foot gator that chills over here here in the summertime. Don't tell my dad that. You good? I'm just, I'm very curious if we can make it into that one marsh area. Hopefully we can. If not, then we just come right back over here. Water. I keep getting a dang backlash. <laughs> so by the time my backlash is out, dang man, yeah, that wind is. Oh, and oh my goodness. And we're gonna use a trolling motor rather than... Well, if the trolling motor can get us through this current, then we'll use it, but I don't think it's gonna get us through. It's not strong enough because it's a choke point where all that yeah. water, I mean, you can see how it's just gushing out. Yeah, I do. Uh, actually, the trolling motor's doing good right now. Mm -hmm. Can the trolling motor do it? I don't think it can. She's not. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, this is like those seagulls sitting there just. <laughs> I know, just chilling. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the outboard up. Okay. I we've got it. I don't even have to. I mean, I have to duck like a tad, like right here. I just don't think about my hat either. Alright you guys, so we made it into this little area under the bridge, but wow, the wind is one thing and then you've got current like this just absolutely ripping. You know, I like water movement just as much as the next guy, but this is nuts. Like it's literally just gushing out. I don't even think speckled trout can swim in this, honestly. So we're just going to try and find some water that's moving, but not rushing like that because that was crazy all right so we're almost to where i i fished before like the area that i fished before we just got to navigate through this start, try to stay in the deepest part but over here to our left are the two entrances of where i fished in the past yeah Wait, that's five, too. All right, you guys, I'm sure you can hear that wind on the GoPro. Wind up says and thinks that this is just five mile, five, what'd they say, six? Six miles per hour. Six miles per hour, this ain't nothing. This is just six miles per hour, don't worry about it. Good day of fishing right here. Quick update, y'all. We have made it into almost the furthest reaches of this marsh. And uh, I've been in here with my kayak before, but I've had to launch from the side of the road. And I've always wanted to come back here, but it's just a bit too far from the closest boat ramp. And I hate it taking the road launch because it's like gator territory. But now, because of the skiff, we were able to do several miles really quick and get under 
a somewhat troubling bridge and now we are back here so hopefully we're gonna find some reds and uh, have a great time because <laughs> if not we're hauling butt out of here and gonna go fish closer towards the launch it's 4.7 feet coming up to a drain y'all I think if we're going to have any luck, it's going to be at some of these drains or one of the deep portions of the pools. Uh, what's unexplainable to me and beyond my level of thinking, my knowledge base, the current seriously gushing through here. Like, I can't figure that out for the life of me. It's been a very tough go this morning with the conditions against us, the tidal movement. This is really crazy. The trolling motor is having a hard time trying to swim against the tide whenever we're in it, especially when the winds. We've got about 14 mile an hour sustained. Gusts probably excess of 17. And it is truly testing our mental fortitude. In the call, we're out of here. We can effectively fish. I'm not gonna make excuses because I'm, I'm one for like, there's, there's no excuse. I just can't effectively fish, so there's no sense in me going against the grain and like not giving us the best possible chance. We're going to take refuge like on a higher tree line. These high marsh grasses still ain't protecting us and the winds are really getting us. The current is doing its thing as well, so I'm going to put all the rods away. Get everything buttoned up because we're running the outboard all the way through. We dropped the trail all the way back here and we'll be able to get through without any issues like running aground. Some areas might be iffy, but nonetheless, the outboard will still run. So yeah, um, let's, let's do this. Let's go to another bayou. Okay, this is where I gotta hit it just right. It is, but... Yeah, I did. Alright, well... Man, what a bummer. Yeah, learning experience. I was thinking those are the ways that kill Big Z. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, we got over there to that other bayou, went under the tracks or whatever that is, that bridge, and absolutely nothing. Yeah. It was moving fast. Muddy. Yeah. How about y'all? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh man. Very tough day, y'all. Very tough day. I wish I had an update for y'all, but it's more of the same. Made it to a new bayou. It's probably the same depth. We're still learning the area. And the great thing about it, I mean, it looks very promising. We're just grateful that the other anglers in that boat that y'all just saw, well, they're having kind of the same luck that we're having, which is no luck. Keep slinging these lures, Christian, still with the shimmer strimmer. The shimmer strimmer. It's because he said strip just a minute ago, the strobe strip or the shimmer strip. But he's still throwing the shimmer swimmer. I'm throwing the skelly swim. I did sling the headhunter for a little bit also the baby bull shad so we've been giving them a variety of looks we just haven't been lucky enough to get anything to bite y'all it has been a crazy day with no fish hope y'all like that little double drive-by <laughs> we got nothing else to do with our time besides try and get the shots for thumbnails and stuff like that 
got one? I think. Well, I got something. Come on, be a fish. Be a fish. Be a fish. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. It's a freaking hardhead. You got him, though. Gosh. Y'all. <laughs> It didn't get skunk. I don't know what's I don't know what's worse, like <laughs> no. that, a skunk or this. Oh that my gosh! Them. Give me the forceps, please. Y'all leave a comment. Oh God, these guys! I've been poked by one before. Um, Y'all leave a comment down below. Would you rather get skunked or would you rather catch a hard head? There we go. Get out of here. That's, that's PB smallest, huh? No, I've caught one that was almost the size, like smaller than this. Shimmer swimmer, I mean, uh, skelly swim. That right there is the brakes, y'all. It happens to us. Them skunks will rack up quickly whenever you're trying to explore new areas. And I like what I saw today. The marsh system that we went into, I've been in there before. I'm thoroughly excited that we can get the skiff inside there and launch from a boat ramp that's not so close by, but it's definitely doable. We were able to make good timing to get inside there and uh, we'll probably continue going back to that area, especially whenever it starts to warm up and those winds are like maybe a little less than what they were today. 10 miles an hour should be doable. The skiff handled that chop exceptionally well. And uh, yeah, I, overall it was a great trip, uh, a learning experience, but uh, that experience gained later on is gonna equate to some big fish being landed. So yeah, overall, thank you so much for watching, tagging along. If you made it this far into the video, just know that I love each and every one of y'all still watching right now because without y'all's support, uh, I wouldn't be able to do what it is that I'm doing. So thank you so much um, for all of you interested in the gear that we use, it's all linked down in the description below. Questions, drop them down into the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Again, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and until next time, tight lines, y'all.